Now to discuss with you a new chapter and the name of this chapter is Chemical Thermodynamics. It involves two terms my dear friends. What's the first one? Chemical. What's the second one? Thermodynamics. So my dear friends, before I actually start off with the concepts involved in this particular chapter, let me first of all make you very clear what does this chemical thermodynamics is all about. So to begin with, we start with the first word and that is what chemical. When we talk about chemical, the very first thing which comes into our mind is what? Obviously, it's chemistry. So chemical means it's chemistry. Now my dear friends, you have been learning chemistry from a long time now, at least two or three years. Have you ever thought of a chemistry without a reaction? No ways. So chemistry means reactions. Now when you talk about reactions, the very first impression what you get when you talk about reaction is it's reactants getting converted in products and etc etc. But then if I want to represent this reaction in terms of only a single word, I would just simply say that it's a process of change. So reaction means it's change. Now the next question which would be going on through your mind is change. What type of change is he talking about? I'm talking about with respect to a substance. Now whenever I consider a substance, there are two concepts associated with it. Number one, it's its physical state. Okay, it can be solid, liquid or gas. There can be plasma, super plasma and so on. But then we are limiting ourselves to only 3D physical states. Solid, liquid, gas. And the second one is what type of a chemical it is being made up of and in what proportion. And that is chemical composition. So two things, my dear friends, associated with the substance. One, the physical state and the second is its chemical composition. So when I talk about change, what type of change is actually taking place as a result of which a reaction is being bifurcated into two categories. Number one, and that is, we talk about a physical reaction. Alright, what we talk about is a physical reaction. Now in a physical reaction, what you want you to understand is that I write down as P is, okay, that is physical state. I put a tick mark, that means yes. Okay, and I also write down in bold letters only. So what does it imply? Yes, I guess you're smart enough to understand this. So physical reactions are those reactions which involves a change only in the physical state. So that means if I say CC, chemical composition, I put a cross mark. So that means there is no change in the chemical composition. Only a change in the physical state. That means a solid getting converted into a liquid or a liquid into a gas or a solid into gas, things like that. Okay, the next one is we talk about and that is called as a chemical reaction. Now as the name suggests, it's a chemical reaction. So it's very obvious that chemical CC, chemical composition, I need to put a tick mark that yes, there is a change in the chemical composition. But then the very next question which will come to your mind is, all right, what about the PS? What about the physical state? Hang on, I'll tell you, for PS, I'll write down as this or this, right? Smart enough, you and I know what you mean, and that is the tick mark, that means yes, there is a change or no change. So physical state may or may not change, but there will be always a change in the chemical composition, and that is nothing but it's a chemical reaction. All right, so I guess you are being very clear with the differentiation between a physical reaction and a chemical reaction, right? Now we come to the next one, and there is thermodynamics. Now let us try to be as simple as possible, my dear friends. What do we do is thermodynamics is we split up into two terms. Okay, that is one is thermo, the other one is dynamics. When you talk about thermo, my dear friends, the first thing which comes to your mind and that is something but what? Uh, it's heat. Okay? It is what? Heat. And I guess every one of you knows this very well that heat is a form of energy. Yeah? Because I got very smart audience, I know that. Okay, so you know this very well. Heat is a form of energy. Now coming to the next term, and that is dynamics. You must have heard about static, dynamic. Okay, these two are opposite terms. And you also know static means what? Stationary. 
Okay, where it is, okay, there it is going to be there. It's not going to move around from here and there. It's rigid. So that is what the static is. And as I said, dynamic means it is opposite of static. So it's very common sense. Dynamic means what? It's something flow. So dynamics means we say it is flow. Getting it? So now you clap. Thermodynamics. So it's what? Flow of heat energy. It's as simple as that. But then the chapter is chemical thermodynamics. So now if you club all these together, we arrive at a definition of chemical thermodynamics. And that is nothing but chemical thermodynamics is a branch of chemistry. What it is? It is a branch of chemistry which deals with the flow of heat energy taking place during a physical and a chemical reaction. Getting it? Okay, once again I repeat, it is nothing but, what is it am I defining right now? Chemical thermodynamics. It's a branch of chemistry which deals with the flow of heat energy taking place during a physical or a chemical reaction. Okay, and this is what the chemical thermodynamics is all about. And this is what I want you to understand before we go into the concepts of this chapter. Am I very clear? Oh yes.